Um, you know, we're just getting adjusted with everything. It was kind of favorable down for them, you know. Um, long punt, shake it off, kind of, and just keep playing ball. Odell, how hard was this game for you to come right in, especially with Robert's injury? Did they throw even more at you than, than you expected? No, we, you know, they did a, a phenomenal job at, at helping me get adjusted and go over the playbook and do all those things. Um, you know, like I said, those are big shoes to fill. He was the, the heart of this team. Um, and I think we got to remember that this is the National Football League. And <laughs> any given Sunday, any team can win. And tonight the Niners came out and they played better than us on all phases of the game. And that's just really um, the moral of the story. There's no you know, trying to find you know, what happened. They just outplayed us. How did you feel for a first game? I mean, first, first play goes to yeah. How did you kind of feel for the first time? Um, I was excited. I was, you know. I felt like I was ready for the moment. Uh, I feel like I've been through so much, and, and God has put me in this position for that exact moment, and it just wasn't our night. Like, there's really no way around it. It just wasn't our night. Um, all three phases of the game, you know, they ran the ball well. Uh, they stopped us while we were on offense, and they just they just beat us. I feel like this gives you a moment now with the body to kind of catch your breath and, you know, Absolutely. Um, I think that's for everybody as well. You know, get a bye week, it's the 10th game of the season. You know, it's a long season. Um, and you're going into the back stretch. you got seven games, a bye week, uh, and it's going to be a tough road. But this is where you, you know, these moments don't divide you. You know, they bring you stronger and closer together. And um, I'm happy to be here. Um, and, you know, just over the bye week, be able to get in the playbook and really try and learn every single thing possible you know it's just two days of you know it's quick but I, i'm ready I, i'm excited um i'm just happy to be here for you personally on the bye week how do you how do you spend it because it's obviously very unique for you to be coming to a new team in the middle of the season yeah i mean i'll be here i'll be working out getting in doing a little two days kind of um you know, I had a baby hiatus myself, just with everything that was going on. Um, emotionally, it was a lot. Uh, so now I get to get back in the lab, get to work, get through the playbook, um, and then you lick your wounds and you you get ready for, you know, w one of the best teams in the NFL in, in Green Bay at Lambeau. So I think that's all it is to it. You give yourself 24 hours, 48 hours, however long, um, not much longer than that, and then. You wipe it and you, you get ready for Green Bay. Okay, I know that, um, right now for you is probably part of the onboarding process is like figuring out the DNA of the guys in that locker room and who they are and kind of what they're about. Yep. And when a situation happens like this, after two days on campus essentially, what do you learn about each other in that locker room? What do you kind of learn about um, what's needed moving forward? Uh, you just see where you, you see how everyone responds to adversity. Uh, I mean, it's tatted on my arm, Martin Luther King, the ultimate measure of a man. You know, anybody could handle the ups, uh, but what do you do when it's when you're down? Um, and you know, right now I don't see, you know, heads down in the locker room. It's just they outplayed us today. Uh, like I say, you give yourself the 24-hour, 48-hour rule, and you keep it pushing. Um, and you and you come into work prepared. You got a bye week, get some rest, lick your wounds, and you keep it moving. How does it affect the last one on offense when the opponent is controlling the ball as much as the Niners did? Yeah, it's tough. You know, it, it's definitely tough. Um, they put the game plan together. They executed. Um, and like I say, man, it's any given Sunday. Uh, they they just came out to play tonight, and it was it was their night. And you got to tip your hat to them. Tell them you'll see them down the road, and you know, focus on that down the road. But don't forget it, um, and and be ready for it next time. All set. Cool. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. You know we like to say a bye week is not an off week, and while it's much needed in La La Land right now, there's some work to be done, including getting that man up to speed on the offensive attack. Uh, here's a look at some splits. First eight games, seven and one, scoring north of 30 a game over the last two, less than half of that offensive production and the TD to INT ratio headed the wrong way for one Matthew Staff.
Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.